Hi, um, I've got a net galley to talk to you about today and it comes out on the 11th of May and it's called The Ghost Theatre by Matt Osman. It's like a merging of historical fiction and I think it's got a bit of magic realism in there as well and it's set in Elizabethan England around Southwark with its bear pits and cockfighting arenas and whorehouses and theatres. Our main character, Shay, is a bird worshipper and she disguises herself as a boy so that she can travel around the streets of London. Uh, in fact, her opening scene is a chase across the rooftops and a meeting with one of the other main characters in the book, Nonsuch, who is um, a boy who was sold into Blackfriars Theatre and is their star performer. Shay is a bird wor worshipper, but she also can read fortunes. She can read fortunes from the birds, from what the birds are doing in the skies. And she does, a, she does have these weird sort trances that she goes into she goes she she starts singing then she goes into a trance and she cannot remember at all what she was singing about but these songs normally have some predictions in them as regards non such and the blackfires theater <clears throat> the blackfires boys it's based upon the boy companies that were around at that time that was something of a phenomenon at that time and Shay joins this theatre group and she also becomes a performer because of these songs and this predictive element to her, to her act. Her fame spreads uh, so much that she has an audience with the Queen, with Queen Elizabeth. And she tells she makes a prediction for Elizabeth and based on this Elizabeth puts some very cruel domestic policies into place. The story moves through um, we have political uprising and um, you've got non such leading this political uprising. He sets off his own little theatre company, the Ghost Theatre, which is almost like a pop-up theatre. Nobody knows where it's going to perform. And he uses this to inspire, to, to inspire revolution. There's a feel for location in this book and because Shay runs over the rooftops, you often get a bird's eye view of London. And non-such, he pulls you in all sorts of directions. Um, you, you like him, you don't like him. Shay, you are on her side the whole time. We have other characters from history that drop into this as well. We've got John Blank and um, Evans, the theatre manager, both characters that are mentioned in um, in the time. And even though the Apprentice riot riots were a thing of the time, so everything is sort of merged into this book, along with the magical realism of these fortune tellings. I really enjoyed this. It's a sort of like a, a riveting read. It's sort of it's a roller coaster. You sort of on the you're fo on the footsteps of of Shay. You're following in her footsteps the whole time as she's running across London and all the the situations that she finds herself in. And yeah, it's a good read. Um, historical fiction, magical realism. What is there not to like? So that's Matt Osman's The Ghost Theatre, comes out on the 11th of May. So happy reading. Take care.
and bye.